And it's now time for me to sit down with the dynamic duo, the founder of Crowd One and also the CEO of Impact Crowd Technologies. I'm, of course, talking about Jonas Erik Werner and Johan Stahl von Holstein. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Sadie. You're nearly Hi. men in black this time, men in blue and men in black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I thought I would start off with, why don't you both give us a recap? What has happened since the last world event that was in April, if I start with you, Jonas? Yeah, there is happening a lot of things. Um, uh, since the last uh, event, the world has been opening up a little bit, and so, so we can go on uh, moving a little bit faster uh, with our operation all around the globe. Uh, get better presence uh, in different areas on different continents and uh, also of course uh, the development and and introducing of more and more products and what i love the network is is growing really rapidly mm. so we are like yeah a couple of more million millions of members and speaking of a couple more million members, I mean, you've had a really exponential growth. I think 2019, you were like two million members. Now you're, I mean, it was six million members like the, in the event in April, and now you're about how many? Yeah, we are, we are close to, in the April event, we were around five, I think. Five, and now okay. we are seven. Seven. And million. with, uh, with uh, uh, what we uh, launch now, uh, I'm sure that we will, we will be like uh, 10 million before next event. Uh, yeah. So... How is a growth like this possible, Yuan? I think there's a number of things. One is that people need jobs, need to have an extra income on the side. I think that the, the, the platform that Crowd1 supplies is absolutely amazing. The way that they have the, 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 the device that we have in the mobile phone, how it can be used. And uh, I think that the promise of the digital products that we're going to supply this network, build into this library, the access to that, is of immense importance because we will be able to have so big discounts to the end customer and still have a large proportion of, of uh, commissions to be sold out into the network. So people will be able to make money on this without taking big risks, but without having to do big investments of buying stock and ordering direct sales, which means we're actually completely different from traditional MLM business. Um, so there is a lot of things that plays into the uh, comes into place and the place out by the time. Timing is everything. And it could never have been done before. I don't think anybody else could have done it the way that Jonas, Jonas have managed to make this. And I will now get the products to prove that the hen can get eggs. Mm. And, and sort of, could, could you just elaborate about the um, correlation of ICT, Impact Crowd Technologies, and Crowd1, just to sort of clarify that? So Crowd1 was uh, started a year ago, a year and a half ago, something like that, and has built this organization with very good software, uh, educational package that they're selling. I'm coming in from the perspective of looking at how can we really supply digital products in a larger scale to completely disrupt and revolutionize the software distribution industry and allow developing countries to have access to software 15 years before they would have had otherwise. And, and it's important again, and I've tried to say it again and again, the people are going to be successful here, the ones who are going to sell, work hard, be committed, do the educational, for, because through education we will lift people and, and enhance them, uh, and we will, with inspiration and the network and support that we will give them, we will facilitate the sales that they will be able to do. Um, but not everybody will succeed in this. It's, it's not, you know, it's not a charity program, it's not, sales is a very dis difficult, but amuse, amazing task to know. It's the most important, uh, experience in every organization because the salespeople are paying everybody's bills and salaries. So I think, you know, we will revolutionize, we will change the world with what we're doing. Mm. Definitely big plans. And I'm thinking, Jonas, what was your vision when you initially started this? You might have shared it before, but it's, it's, it's a great sort of insight to give. The vision was to, to two parts. First of all, to change the network industry because the most of the network companies failed taking their businesses online and uh, a, ne a network uh, the network ID is a great thing because it, it's the average people's business and uh, I wanted to to make uh, this business much easier to duplicate uh, and that's why we are the five-minute business 
You don't need to, to be an expert in, in products and services. You don't need a lot of knowledge. You don't need to be a good presenter. Uh, the only thing you need is a mobile phone and, and to, to, uh, to introduce cool things. You should never underestimate uh, cool things. Things that you love to do, things that you do every day. Uh, uh, and yeah, just recommend. And uh, of course, I agree with you on uh, that, that it, do it doesn't hurt if you work hard, because if you work hard, there is no limit how far you can take your business. And uh, I also need to say that when we started, we started to build uh, a network. Uh, and and uh, my vision in the beginning was to have only a couple of, of online products. But when we met and you um, introduced me to the vision of, of actually have a library of a lot of things so all people around the globe can find locally and globally their favorite products and services, I think there is no limits, as you once said. There is absolutely no, no limits. So looking at this, I mean, the possibilities, there's no limits, but, but what has sort of been the challenge with having such a fast growth and maybe also, you know, the scalability that this seems to have? What are the challenges? I think one of them is the impatience that many of the people feel where are the products. Uh, we needed to come to a critical mass of salespeople to now be able to go out to the product developers and the entrepreneurs and say that, look, we've got the sales force, we have the hen, give us the eggs, mm -hmm. or they will let them come with the eggs. And, and so that's been one of the challenges. And I also think to, that to, for us to understand what type of products is it we're going to do. So, and we have now lined up a large amount of companies and products that we will integrate into our system and have out coming out during the fall. But we will also start doing things that will get software and, and digital products from the regions where we're selling and finding that and spreading them internationally. So we are not just disrupting the distribution of software, we will also disrupt in many ways the VC industry. Because the VC industry is what's necessary for a software developer to become successful, which means the only areas that are successful is Silicon Valley, New York, Stockholm, London, Berlin, and Tel Aviv, basically, uh, because that's the only places where they're venture capital. Now, software developers from wherever in the world can come to us and say, we don't have any money, but you have six million salespeople, 10 million, 20 million, and we'll be able to give success to entrepreneurs in a way that nobody's ever been done before. So it's, it, it is a platform that will be even more important than Uber or Airbnb will become the largest sales organization in the world. And, and as you mentioned, it's, it, dif it differentiates, you say, from sort of the MLM industry, which has sometimes um, attracted a bit of um, harsh criticism, in a sense, that industry. How does this differ, and how do well, you maybe well, approach in that? Many, in many ways, if you, you sell something for an MLM company, you have to buy a fairly big startup package, and then you need to buy a certain amount of products every month in order to stay in the program, and you're not able to sell these programs, so after a while, you've filled up your garage and your living room with products you can't sell, and you're kind of trapped in a situation that costs you money, that puts risk on your family, and it gives you products that you don't need, and then eventually you'll sell them on uh, eBay and you'll become a competitor of the company who sells them in the first place. So with us, you don't need that. You, you pay once. We want you to be committed and passionate about this. You want, we want them, people to actually say, we're going to have to work to get our money back uh, because that commitment is, is necessary. For, we are committed. We're passionate about what we're doing. And after that, you'll just be able to take the things that fits into your knowledge and experience or your interests and sell products. Um, so, and you'll have direct sales commissions as well as being part of the larger pool. So we, we are fundamentally changing everything, making it simpler, cheaper, with much higher leverage on um, profitability for the engaged people. You want to add uh, anything? F fully agree again. And, and the thing is that, that as you want to say, we are changing everything because very soon people are spending the same amount of time they spend on their regular job to earn money on, on social media and on the mo in front of the mobile phone or, and without earning anything. <laughs> so, so sometimes in the evening I laugh because some, some newspaper and things, they, they, they write about, about us and say that, oh no, we are not helping people and, and, and this is dangerous. My God, we are the total opposite to this. We are the first company ever that inst instead of letting people spending time 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours every day, young people, old people, without getting anything. There's a handful of companies taking all the money. We are the first company, give out the money to all the people. And we are actually, uh, as I said in the beginning of the event today, we, are the f we have not only changed this industry, we have changed how the ma money flow goes. Because there is a lot more people in our system earning money than any system before and, and probably after us also. So, I, I, yeah. I think what Jonas is saying is fundamentally important. There are companies out there who's made us digital slaves. Mm. We are taking back that power. We are giving back the power to actually leverage on your long term uh, tail uh, uh, influencership to leverage and, uh, you know, eventually, you got to remember also what Jonas said, that it's still a startup, it's still a pre-phase. When we have 20 million people, we will be able to segment these people out of their knowledge and educational package. When we're 30, 40 million people, we'll be able to create a social media network of ourselves where people just can use this um, and interact to make money and find themselves a platform to work with. Instead of giving away all their assets of their actual livelihoods as digital identities to companies in Silicon Valley that is the only one place in the world that doesn't need more money. So. And, and last but not least, I mean, now that I have you both here and you've both um, done successful business ventures, you've been in the business world, um, you've founded companies, you've been on boards of companies and so forth. A piece of advice. I mean, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, of course, among your entrepreneurs. What are, what are sort of the key traits that are essential um, to thrive in, in a business like, like this is offering? There's a lot of them. It's, it, it's, it's, sales is difficult. You need to be resilient. You need to never give up. Never take no for an answer. When you're tired and you want to give up, find inspiration and the people who want to inspire you. Me, Peter Jacobson, the leaders. Um, f gather that energy that you need to be successful and, and persistent and going out there because we will have great product at great prices with huge commissions. So there is all the reasons in the world to stay long-term, loyal and passionate to what we're doing and stay with us because this is not a short term, next week, half a year project. It's, it's a long thing. We're going to change the world. Big ambitions. Yeah, and, and um, I think that it's, it's imp important to have a goal. Uh, and and to, to a lot of people are listening to, to people around them that, that haven't done what they want to do themselves. So, so I think. Uh, uh, a good suggestion is to find, try to find a person that have done what you want to do uh, and uh, talk to that person and, and see how, di how did you do it and try to do it the same way. And, and with our tools, I think the chance for, for more people to be successful and be, uh, take a part of this huge industry of the online world, is, it's better than ever. So find a person that have done what you want to do. Find a role model and be a role yeah, model as yeah. well. And don't listen to all the people who tell you you can't, it's impossible. Don't believe the naysayers who are uh, suspicious and negative because they are the type of people that will just hold you back. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you want. Set your mind to it and just do it. You can do anything you want and believe in who you are. Thank you so much for sharing those insights.